Hi, it's Matt and Tom from the School Musicals Company talking about a brand new release for 2024, The Wind in the Willows by Tom Kirkham and Nikki Davis. Tom, mm. how did this, uh, did this uh, adaptation come about? Well, um, it's a great show. Uh, it's a great story. It's a classic, you know, so it, it always felt like we would want to write a version of The Wind in the Willows. Um, it's so much loved, isn't it? It's just such a national treasure that, you know, the idea of being able to adapt it into a, into a musical for sort of six to 10 year olds, it just felt absolutely right that we would try and do that. And obviously with Nikki being such a, a brilliant musician and so experienced, I, I knew that the songs we were going to get would be wonderful. So then it was just a case of, okay, what, what's going to work um, in terms of the storyline? Because it's a, it's a big old book, you know, it, to, to adapt yeah. it, there's a lot goes on. There's a lot that you wouldn't really want to include in a show for six to 10 year olds. Uh, not because it's not appropriate, but just because it's just too big uh, a story. So, the, you know, wonderful characters, you know, just trying to make sure it works as a show is the main so, thing. So which came first, the songs or the script? The, for this, actually, the script came first for the most part. Um, but we knew what, where the songs were going to go and what we wanted them to do within the show. Um, but the script actually came first in this instance. And your first, your first time working directly with Nikki? On a, on a show? Yeah, very easy. Yeah, yeah lovely. And, um, you know, uh, I wrote the script, we'd talk about the songs, Nikki would go away, away come up with something, send through, we'd chat through, usually they're fantastic. <laughs> and it mm -hmm. was just a yes, brilliant, yeah. thanks, Nikki. Um, and who should be staging? Who should be staging this version of Wind in the Willows? Well, this, this for me, you know, we, we <coughs> consciously wrote it as a piece for slightly younger than, than year six. So I would say probably year three to year five. 60. You could you could do it as a leavers, but I think you know it's been written for that slightly younger performer who will find it's it's fun. It's a bit silly at times. It's got plenty of drama as well, you know. But good parts for children to to get their teeth into. And what do you get in the pack? Uh, so within the book itself, you get the script, the full script, the sheet music for the songs and for the incidental scene change music, and then you've got. Obviously, a list of all the characters and their line tallies. You've got uh, a scene breakdown. You've got which characters appear in which scene, which is really useful from sorting out rehearsals. You've got song notes and guidance uh, on tackling those. Um, and you've got a section on how to uh, adapt it for a larger cast or okay. for a smaller cast, which, which is, is always important. useful. And we're, we're always happy for people to make those tweaks right. to make it fit their needs. So you, with, with all the school musicals, shows you get or you can buy an editable script yeah ed editable script because every production is different every school every youth theater has different needs car sizes will vary they will almost inevitably need to make some cuts or some additions adding in extra characters or or whatever so it, just trying to make that easier right you know? and what, what if you're a school and you don't have a musician um, and say you're a non-specialist, you haven't put on a show before? Well, I, I mean, I would absolutely, for the vast majority of the shows, the backing tracks add so much to the atmosphere of the songs. And, you know, and the, the incidental music as well does as well. So I would almost always, unless you've got a full band playing, I would say go with the backing tracks. Um, which are on either on CD or in digital format, so you've mm. just got them on your computer or on an uh, iPad. Um, but you know, use the sheet music to, to help teach the songs. Um, you know, and if you've if you've got a great pianist and a great band, and then, then fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Matt and Tom from the School Musicals Company talking about a new adaptation of The Wind in the Willows, um, perfect for uh, years three, three to five. To five. Yeah. Um, yeah. Available from schoolmusicalscompany.com.